students in my lab research questions involving microbes, and today I'm going to talk about giant bacteria. So most bacteria are so small that you need a microscope to view them, but actually some bacteria are so large you can almost see them with the naked eye. I work on the second largest bacterium known called Epilopysium, or Epilos for short, and these bacteria live in the gut of surgeonfish. So in terms of scale, if most bacteria are the size of a young child, Epilos, relatively speaking, would be approximately the size of the Empire State Building, so they're really huge. How are they able to achieve these large cell sizes when most bacteria are limited to being very small in size? Well, one of the adaptations they have to this large cell size is that each cell will have tens of thousands of chromosome copies per cell. And my lab and the students in my lab focus on studying how those chromosomes are organized and how they're partitioned into new offspring cells when Epilopysium reproduces. You might wonder why study this weird large bacterium that seems to be the exception to the rule. Well, actually in recent years, studies have shown that actually many bacteria have more than one chromosome per cell. Um, so our findings are relevant to understanding these basic principles of how bacteria manage having multiple chromosomes in the cell. So epilos are a fascinating model system of how bacteria can overcome the constraints on cell size. And there are still many, many questions to be answered about these unique bacteria.